so this video is about to explain that how we exactly uh, deploy the static website um, using S3 bucket in Amazon Web Service. Okay. So first thing, uh, there are uh, a few steps are there. How to do it? So let me uh, show share the steps. So first thing is we have to register the domain. So the domain. And then the second step is uh, upload the site files into S3 bucket. And then the third option is uh, see, we have the register the registration of domain you can do through other websites as well as you can do through AWS as well. So if you are uh, registered with other domains, you have to just host that using Route 53. That registered uh, 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 domain has to be hosted on the uh, uh, has to be verified on the AWS. So that's the third step. And then fourth step is certificate manager. Certificate manager. Uh, so we'll generate a certificate to to use uh, the site uh, securely. And then the last step is fact to distribute uh, the load. I mean, sorry, to, to distribute the uh, load on the uh, uh, browser okay so those are the steps that we are going to do it so first point is register register, register the domain so the register the domain we do have a lot of things are there so we currently am using um, um currently i'm using uh freenom uh, dot com so which is a uh, you know, free site so which is uh, uh, available for up to 12 months it's free so how exactly we can do this? Uh, so once you logged in, you can go here, um, register a new domain. So if you register a new domain, so you can find that. Uh, so uh, as, as per your convenient uh, on name. So I'm um, just trying that. Uh, just look my domain.gq. So if I click check availability, So it will uh, tell you that whether it is available or not. Okay, so it is available. So once you select this one, you, you just check out. So when, when you just check out, you can see that the period of months that you, look, you, you, you want. So up to 12 months, it is free. So if you select uh, 12 months, if you continue, then you can uh, go to the next page and finally you will uh, end up with the domains which you have uh, registered. Okay, so that's the first step. So here I have already done the domain. So which is uh, this is the domain which I have used uh, for this uh, demo purpose. So this is a one thing. So it, it is a uh, one year full subscription, yes, which is free. Okay, so this is the first step. So first step is so done. So we have done through, oh, you know. and then the next thing is using S3 packet. I'm going to upload the sites. So okay, so what is my site is here? Um, foundation. So back to school my, is my website. So I'm just uh, clicking the index button so you can you can see that all the things about our school, admissions, why us, and then finally contact us. There are these are the uh, uh, pages which is designed as a demo purpose. So we are going to upload this in the S3 bucket. Okay. So here I'm going to use the S3 packet. So S3. So S3 packet. So I'm doing this task. I'm going to empty that. So let's go to DP So edit. So first, I'm going to create a, a 
blanket. So what does my thing is back to school. Is my back to school dynamic website? Okay, this is my bucket which I'm creating. Okay, so uh, block all public access. Right? So this IP is designed actually, the intention is to uh, uh, seen by everyone. So I'm just giving it, uh, allowing everyone to see that. So if you are doing that, then you have to acknowledge it. So it's, it's a warning that uh, it says that it, it is allowing external world to see that. Okay. And then the bucket versioning, you can use it. If you want, you can use it. And as well as this, this default encryption also, if you need, you can do that. So otherwise, just create bucket is done. Okay. So once create bucket is done, I'm going to upload the files. So to upload that, what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm selecting every file, all the files. Just drag and drop. Just drag and drop will do all the 27 files will be uploaded over here. So just click upload. Okay, so it has been done. So now all the things are done. So now next thing is properties. So we have uploaded the, all the files. So now the next thing is properties. So regarding the properties, if you go to properties, there is an option at the bottom, static website hosting. So you click edit and just enable so that you can. So the index document is we do have index so that is the starting of the page so we are using the same index.html and then finally we are saving the changes so property is done and then coming back to uh, permission so okay so the next thing is uh, just to access that whether this site is accessible or not just open it so if you open it you can see that it is forbidden it is not accessible so we need to give a permission to access this Okay, so let it be there. Okay, now I'm going to next thing is permission. So permission. So what I'm going to do is so this is my uh, um, so before going to that, I'll just take a copy here. Okay, copy here. Okay. So now next thing is I'm going to give a permission. So permission. So while doing permission, I'm giving permission. So uh, there is an option called packet policy, which will uh, enable or uh, which will allow obtaining uh, uh, as per uh, our uh, control. So okay, so I'm clicking AT. So uh, if you have a policy, you can directly write it using uh, policy examples, or else you can go for policy generator. So see, this is a packet yeah, here. You can see that. Okay, so bucket here and I'm copying. So policy generator we can use to generate a policy. So for which we are going to create a policy is it's S3. So we are going to allow. So the principle you can see that who is who are allowed who are all allowed to view this. So here we are giving star to everyone, or else you can give the account number, uh, uh, Amazon account. So that see you can see here Amazon account number if you give those persons only will be allowed to do that so here we are giving all so permission so actions also he is allowed to uh anything okay so that's the key and resource ar means uh, whatever we bucket here we copy it right so we just paste it so under that any resource we can do such so uh, store means you can access anything so i'm just clicking that statement okay so now next thing is generate policy so generate policy, we can just copy this and we don't need this. We are just pasting. Okay, so now we are going to save this. Okay, so now it is public. So you can see that uh, permissions were we earlier to us, objects can be public. Now it is completely public. So now just refresh this page. See, we can, we can able to see. 
Okay, now this portion is set up. So we have uploaded. So we have uploaded the product done. It's so we have uploaded a dynamic posting is done. And then permissions. So now next row 50. So okay, so here this is my registered domain, right? So we are going to, so we have already uh, registered the domain. So now no, let's go back to route 53. So route 53 will open another tab. Okay. So, so create question. See, register domain. You can register your domain as I, as we can, we have uh, done in uh, free now or else if already it's been registered then you can host it so i'm going to host it here so why i didn't uh, use aws registration is it is uh, there is no freebie over there uh, like free now so we are using free now for uh, uh since because it's a free subscription okay so now next thing is uh, this is the domain which we are going to host so school Then the rest of the things all done. So once this has been created, you can see that name service has been added over value or route traffic to here. So this is namespace. Sorry, name service. Name service has been added. So there are the four values. So what exactly you do is you just copy this all the four values. then just build the dot so you have to add this team server so when you go here there is an option called manage domain so if you click that so if you go to manage tools that is options called main service so here already it's been um, so for last deployment i have used but generally it will not be there you have to select that i use custom name servers by default it will be used default name servers but you have to change it and uh, to use custom servers and whatever the value which what I don't know what generated right so you have to give this value so we have given all of all the four values okay so we have given change name services done So this is done. So the next thing is certificate manager. Okay. So certificate manager we have done. So we have to request a certificate. Okay. So I do have already uh, requested a certificate, but if not, you can go here request and request a public. You can give that fully qualified name is nothing but your uh, um, this value. This is the value which you have to give and then uh, select the dns validation if you give then it will take a few minutes to uh, validate and finally you will be giving and given uh, like that how we, exactly it has been over there for the uh, other certificate so it, it will be coming like the status is sure and the uh, amazon uh, type is amazon sure you can um, the, the file uh, certificate will be created so since we have already created, so we are coming here. So we are using this one, create row accounts. Okay. So whenever the uh, whenever the uh, uh, file is created, uh, certificate is created. By the time if you click create, create uh, records in row fifty three, it will automatically create. But since we have already used a created one, so we are going to use it uh, uh, manually. So this is the one. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a record in route 53. So assuming that 
and the certificate manager we have already requested a certificate so we are going to add this certificate value in the route 53 so we are going to route 53 Going back to hosted zone. Okay, make a view source. Okay, so create here, create a record, and then whatever the value which you copied, right? So you don't have to copy fully because the later portion of that other one which we do have already. We are going to use this as a signal. Okay, so dot is already there. So yes, until dot, you just uh, copy. Okay, so this portion you have to copy fully. So signal and the value is this one. Okay, so we have to add the uh, value, the record name as a uh, until. Um, because this has been already over here in the uh, this way. So we have to ignore that the other things uh, we have to add it. So value is completely you have to add the at the end that will be thought you just remove that. Okay, so just create a record. So it will be added over here. You can see that this is the one. So this is done. So certificate manager portion is done. So finally, cloud front. So CloudFront, we are going to use. So CloudFront, what we are going to do. So okay, so here, you can see that, uh, just copy this value over here in the properties. I'll tell you why it is needed. Okay, just copy this, okay. Now, next thing is go to CloudFront. So CloudFront, you know that CloudFront is generally used to uh, uh reduce the latency uh, it will cache all the things so CloudFront which is being used so i'm going to CloudFront. i'm going to clear create a cloud front distribution so, so this origin domain generally it will uh, give the bucket name but we don't need the bucket name instead of that dynamic side url is needed so we are coming giving this way and then here after giving this url we have to give three values so first thing is protocol policy since we are going to access through https so we have to give this one this is the first one and then the next value is c name c name is nothing but the certificate name right so so the c name what we have to do is the custom domain that we created so here the custom domain which we created is aws source so we are giving this value okay so and then third and final thing is certificate so certificate once you have created a certificate it will come over here so you just select this certificate and then finally create distribution so okay so create distribution so once uh, the distribution is created you can see that lost modified is deployed okay so immediately if you go So immediately if you go see the once the okay, distribution is created you can see that one you are so if you immediately if you go and give this one you, you can see you can see that the site can't be reached why because this is actually it is deploying actually so it will take uh close to two to three minutes to take to do that so by this main time what we are going to do is see we there is a one URL, uh, so there is a one domain name which is being created. So we, uh, what it exactly it will do is, so whenever if you open this URL, it will open that back to school. So let it uh, deploy this one. So till that minute, I'm just pause this video. You see, last modified is done. So now, if you go here, you can see this. Okay, right? Already we have 
you have tried this one, this icon be reached. Now, if you try this, you can see this. Now, if you uh, uh, try this, it is working. Okay. So, but this is um, CloudNet front URL, but this is not actually we wanted. We wanted to try this tick AWS. Or. So, if you click this, See, if you give this, it says the site can be reached. Okay, the site can be reached is well. So still, uh, there is some work which is left out. This system, some work is pending. So what we are going to do is, so again going back to route 53. So we are going to what exactly we are going to do is, so we have created one URL, right? So this domain URL. So just copy this, copy this. So just what I see, this URL needs to be. If somebody is hitting this URL, it should be routed back to. The other URL, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click cloud distributions. So cloud cloud front. So I'm going to click aliens. So we need to find out where this cloud front is there. Okay, here, so here you need to find the cloud front distribution. So that's uh, record type is not the correct one. So route traffic too. So if this is being clicked, then you, you need route router traffic to this one. So if you click cloud front distribution, that whatever the URL which is the displayed over there in the D2, right? D2L3, so it will be displayed over here. So you just click that, create accounts, just do this simple token, so it will be there. So immediately if you go there, it will not come over here. So it will take a few seconds to do that. So I'm just uh, stopping this video until it's uh, coming back. So finally it has come. So if you look at the date, it will be Okay, so if you click above it, you can see this. Submission, submission. Oh yes, and the time is contact us. So it can do this. So it doesn't connection is secure. So uh, that's the thing overall. So you can, so I'll, I'll just brief about that what we have exactly done. So through Freenom, we have registered on uh, domain. So that's the first thing. And then second thing is we have created the, so we have uploaded, we have created the S3 bucket and uploaded the uh, website content. And then we have in the S3 bucket, in the S3 bucket, uh, we have, uh, So in the oh, let me show by show. So first of all, uh, we have created the, uh, the free now registry. We have uh, registered the domain using free now, and then we have created a S3 bucket. Yeah. So once S3 bucket is created, you went to properties, and then you have created a static website hosting. The URL, uh, the endpoint was generated, but we couldn't able to access the endpoint because it is permission to name. So the next thing is we went to permission. So through policy generator, we have created a policy and then we have allowed everyone to access this and finally saved it. So then this URL was uh, able to access. So that's the thing. 
so uh, related to s3 is done and then third thing is since we have registered domain in the free now so we have hosted that zone so we went into um, um route 53 and we have created a hosted zone so once hosted zone is created the names uh, servers were created so those four values were updated in the free now using this name servers so initially it will be used default name servers you just change it to use custom name servers and give all the values which are displayed and then uh that's the uh, route 53 and then next thing is uh, when going back to service certificate manager so certificate manager so we have created our own certificate so we have created our own certificate so once your certificate is created if you give create records in route 53 it will be automatically created so if you are using existing certificate you have to create that uh, record in the route 53 so this domain already will be there so just before that uh, this value only you need to use it in the name and full value you need to use it in the uh, value okay so type should be seen here. so this is we create we have done and finally we have to create a crowd front so crowd front what we what are the things you need to remember is uh, three things you need to remember so other than you are so first thing is so while creating it so here while creating the uh, so origin so origin is nothing but your uh, um, origin is nothing but uh, or uh, uh, static URL, which is uh, generated in the S3 bucket. So that's the one thing. So other than the three things you need to remember, one is C name. So C name, you have to remember it. C name is nothing but your, uh, um, so here it is not uh, uh, displaying, but you can, so while creating, you can uh, uh, do that. So I'll, I'll just create and show that, okay. So here you need to give the, uh, uh, not bucket name, it should be a static uh, website name, which is uh, endpoint, which is created in the S3 bucket. And then uh, three things you need to remember. So first thing is redirect HTTP to HTTPS. So that's the first thing. And then second thing, it should be C name. C name is something but you are registered domain name. So that's the thing. In here, in this case, tech AWS, uh, that's, the, that's the thing. So third thing is choose certificate. So choose certificate and finally create distribution so once create distribution is created uh, immediately it will not be up it, it you can see that uh, uh, the last module will be a deploying so once the last module is updated you can see that this value will be accessible so this uh, domain value will be accessible through internet so now uh, uh, but that is not what we wanted, right? So we wanted to our uh, don't registered domain should work. So again, you go back to your route 53. Route 53. And then go back to again hosted zone. And then go back here, create record. So what exactly you need to do is, see this is, if somebody is hitting this URL, they should be redirected to the cloud front one. So here you have to choose the cloud front distribution. So if you click the cloud front distribution, automatically this URL will come. So just choose. So after that, you have to wait for a, a couple of minutes so that it will be up. So once finally, if you do that, see, this is finally it will be available. So once everything is uh, done, so you just go back to your all the things, uh, uh, delete heavy things. So, so uh, first, uh, I'll show that. So first, we go for cloud uh, route fifty three. We'll delete. So route fifty three only uh, certificate and uh, uh, next these three only will be deleted. These three will not be available. So delete. So if this is done, then you can delete the host zone. Delete. So this is done. Okay, so now route 53 or whatever the records you have is created is done. So now uh, next step is cloud front. So cloud front. So cloud front, first you have to disable it. So once disable it, so see disable, see again started deploying. So once everything is 
uh, the loss modified value is getting updated, then you can, uh, the delete will be, uh, see currently the delete will not be disabled. So once it is disabled completely, then you can see the delete enable or delete will be, you can do anything. So the, we'll delete that, okay. So by this meantime, we'll, uh, uh, okay, so uh, we'll see, okay. Okay, so a proud front we have deleted certificate manager. We, we don't need this actually deleted. So if we consume uh, that, then only will be uh, the general certificate uh, requesting certificate will not be at par. So let it be that. So route 53, we have already deleted all the things. Proud front we are uh, yet to delete as it's disabling. And finally, S3 packet. So go back to S3 packet. So go back to S3 packet. So S3 packet, so S3 packet, you can see that it's global actually, it's not specific to region, okay. So uh, first, if, uh, if you delete that, it will tell you that first empty. See, this packet is not empty, okay. So first you have to em empty the packet. So, so we can go back to your packets and then here empty, you can delete that empty. So permanently delete. So once deleted, exit. So then delete. So it will ask you that what is the bucket name. So give that. Okay. So finally, what is pending is only cloud front is pending. That's it. So if it is getting a loss mode, if it is updated, then it will allow you to delete the um, distributions. So and that's it uh, about this video. Mm, thanks.